everyone, my name is Allie and I'm a junior from Miller Bluffs High School. <laughs> and I have a trigger warning for sexual content, but keep your ears open. <laughs> Motionless. The wind caresses your hair and makes it toss and turn playfully. Your face is still, its muscles frozen. Its expression is read only as pulp sliding down an unexpected throat. Sour, your lips do not even quiver, they are rubbed to bare. His tongue slithers down your throat, tasting of mint gum and a stale hot dog bun, and you wonder if this is real. His hands creep along your jawline, past your collarbones, and hover above your heart like a cat stalking his prey. Your breathing becomes shallow as his presence overcomes you. His cologne has turned bitter. He presses you up against a concrete wall, its surface covered with dust and mold. It is chilling to the touch, just like his heart. But they will both warm up. And you'll wish to believe that you did too. Cowering in an alley beside an amusement park, his hands explore every inch of you. They search for every nook, every crevice of your soul for him to exploit. You were daddy's little girl. Why didn't you know you slept? You feel a repressed sense of emptiness reaching up from your gut to pull you in, and you struggle. You fight back with this boy, and you want to believe that it's real. His nimble fingers tie you in emotional knots, but your dad's not here to brush them out. You are alone with the boy. You've convinced yourself that you love, yet you do not question his abrasiveness out loud. Tied in knots, you are motionless. Your heart is a frequently rented apartment. And with faulty wiring, you are a bomb begging to burst. His cigarettes have turned your esophagus into charcoal. You can no longer feel what he forces down your throat. Pressed up against an unforgiving wall, you turn gray and your fingertips are blue from lack of oxygen. And you hope to God that the pressure he is putting on your throat is out of love. You are hopeful, but he does not smile at you. You know he abuses you, but all you've been taught to do is to let him continue. So like a good girl, you do. And somewhere along the way, you give in to the feeling for a moment of release. And when you wake up in the morning, not knowing how you travel to his bed, you feel empty. But you just wanted to feel loved. And honey, you know.